A handful. Oh my gosh. Oh. Literally turn on the camera and it falls and... Oh, jeez. That's not a very good start to a video. What on earth? I just destroyed this thing. I decided I was gonna just like vlog today and just vlog, not make like a curated type of video and just vlog. So we're off to a great start. Will it still work? Even though it's like kind of destroyed? I mean, it looks horrible. That doesn't feel good either. Man, it took a hard hit. Oh, gosh. Oh no, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh, dang it. Seriously? Somehow the f zoom ring and the focus ring are now merged together as one. However hard this thing has felt like. So if I'm zoomed in right here, it kind of can focus, but it's having a real tough time doing so. If I put it on manual focus, then I can focus here. But if I zoom all the way out, there's nothing I can do. I can't even manually focus. That is horrendous, dude. What a way to, this is, what, a, oh my gosh. Well, I guess I have to send this thing in for repair. The one nice thing is I did get adaptive ring so that my old Canon glass will fit on my Sony camera. So I do have a wide angle lens, but the only problem there is that this ring doesn't transmit the autofocus stuff. So basically, um, dang it. All right, so there's my busted Sony lens. I've got the Canon lens on here now. The only issue is that, like I said, it won't automatically focus, so I have to manually focus everything, which is not a huge deal. It's certainly not the end of the world, and I'm totally happy that at least I have a backup piece of glass that we can record this vlog with, even if I have to manually focus everything. Not that big a deal, right? That's life. Things break, things fall apart, but we pick them back up, and we put them back together, and we work with what we've got to make it happen, so. All right, let's go check in on the fam because that's what I was gonna do next. Ooh, also, also, what I, my first idea when I, before I even started filming was we're gonna A, show the thing that Noah got at the Reptile Super Show and let him show that off, maybe watch it eat, learn what Noah knows about these. And also we're going to, pardon me if I, there's gonna be a lot of this vlog where I'm looking off to the side to make sure that things are in focus, so thank you for your patience as I don't look directly at you as I'm speaking. I also wanted to show off some of the Brian Barcheck snakes that I have here because I really haven't been able to pick up my camera without thinking about Brian So I thought it'd be fun to show off some of the snakes that I got from him just in honor of him <laughs> It's a wonderful life we're living I destroyed my uh, my other lens. This is a piece of cannon glass on here mm. I dropped it in the snake room just now right as I started I started the video because sometimes this thing doesn't lock on all the way mm. And I, even though I think it's locked on, I went to go do the aloha into the fan and instead the camera just hit the ground super hard. And I've dropped it many times. This is the first time it's actually, now it's, now it's kind of broken, so. Great. <clears throat> but it, look, this still works. Mm -hmm. And I can just send in the other lens for repair and oh. it should hopefully be okay. Okay. <laughs> What'd you think about that, Brenna? <laughs> Mud pipe. Aren't you gonna get your hands messy? So Leia's got a princess room now. We turned my old office into her bedroom. So it's a little bit of a mess, just like everything else in this house currently and most of the time, but still pretty cool. She finally got her own little room space. Some other family updates over here. Mr. Noah Sage. Yeah. First pair of glasses. Yeah. First first person in the family to wear glasses. Um, Not true. As a kid. That I'm aware of. Your dad. There's uh, your dad. I don't think he wore glasses as a kid. Uncle Scott literally told me he did yesterday. Oh, well, shows what I know. We wanted to show the animal that you picked up at the Reptile Super Show. You down to show everybody that? Uh, if you promise that later today we can uh, get him some food so that he doesn't starve to death. All right, so let's take a look here at a couple of snakes, a couple of BHB snakes. As you guys didn't know, BHB stands for Brian Henry Barcheck, the old man himself. This is a super fire. It was actually one of the first snakes that I got from him. Um, and I've held her during many little truth sessions. We kind of, we call her the truth snake because we just hold her and <laughs> it's just kind of a name she got because the, I think the very first time I made a video kind of just reflecting on Brian, I called it 
the truth or the thumbnail said the truth and so this became the truth snake because i held her during that whole session and she's a good looking snake man she's produced a few clutches here to date and just a really cool who doesn't love a stark white ball python with black eyes or just snake in general i probably a lot of people but <laughs> for those of us that like snakes i think leucistic animals are probably pretty sweet leucistic for those of you that lose your minds when i say leucistic even though that's the right way to say it and here we got old brucey bruce enchi cinnamon sorry just enchi 100% het sunset male and i got this boy this was actually a huge deal when i got this animal and it took a bit of thinking and a lot of uh risk because it was a huge investment at the time for me. It was basically like all the money I had um, to get him and his girlfriend. And I got her from BHB as well. He locks up with anything, man. He's a super stud and he passes on his genetics very strongly as well. For whatever reason, like almost all the animals always get like, like they had sunset passed off or the Enchi or both. He passes on his genetics strong, which he also just locks up with anything. I, I swear I could toss this guy in with a broomstick and he would lock up with it. Just a champion of a snake. Aren't you, Bruce? Stud. And this here is Candice. Big ol' cinnamon, 100% sunset girl that Brian actually sent over. So the, the original female that I got from him, I was raising it up, and that snake uh, ended up passing about like seven months into keeping her, eight, seven, eight months or whatever. And that was quite unfortunate, but Brian, out of the kindness of his heart, just like, he had no obligation to, I mean, you know, it was a long time I'd already had that snake and something just happened, but he still sent me this girl to make sure I stayed in the Sunset Project, which you guys have probably seen the video of Brian's where I, I was fortunate enough to produce some and, and send him a Sunset to get him back in the Sunset Project because you probably know the story there of how the project was stolen from him. And he, even though he was the originator of, of the gene, bringing it into the country, didn't even have his own visual Sunset, which I thought was pretty sad, so. That's why he sent over a, a cinnamon sunset to him that is probably still there and probably breeding about now at this point. But yeah, this girl is actually one of the biggest ball pythons we have here at Triple B. Yeah, big thanks to Brian for really stepping up and putting his heart and mouth in the same place. And this here is one of the, again, I, guys, I really apologize for like the, the focus being a little wacky. It's, it's kind of a challenge to manually focus everything and not just let the camera focus. But you know, we're gonna make it work. This is Stud Muffin. This is an offspring of Bruce and Candace. He is an Enchi Cinnamon Sunset, so all of the genetics they could possibly pass off, he he got them. Of all the Sunset stuff I've seen, which I've seen some beautiful things, especially from um, like Brad Boa and and uh, the, Justin, of course, and other people that are working with Sunset. And the Enchi Cinnamon is still hold, holds best to this date. So I think that all the cool combos out there, like the Lavender, um, I thought it turned out real well with Sunset and the, the Lavender Albino, I mean. And uh, Yellow Belly is looking really good with Sunset. Uh, I think that anytime you include Enchi and Cinnamon in your Sunset combo, it's going to turn out real well. Because you as you can see with this boy, like he's a full adult, like well-proven breeder. And his orange is just holding strong. Just really nice. So Enchi Cinnamon is still, in my very biased opinion, the best Sunset combo to date. Oh, what's going on, little Toosh? I brought my best scorpion book. You brought your book? My best scorpion book. Your best what? My best scorpion book. What are you What are you gonna do with those scorpion books? Study how. Study how? Yep. Hello, Shimmies. Where's Noah? Uh, he's not in here. What do you know? Snakes cannot blink. Why can't snakes blink? Because they don't have any eyelids. <laughs> Dushy! What? What do you know? Well, I do know that... People are cutting down the environment. Elephants and tigers, cheetahs, birds, panda bears. I think also jaguars, and I definitely know that snakes cannot stand on their tippy tail. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna keep going till the cows come out. I'm going outside. Where are you going? Why are you going outside? Because it's nice out here. Hillary's gonna go get some food for Noah's new pet, and while she's doing that, we're gonna stay and hang out with baby. 
And I'm going to focus on baby and not you guys. So I'll see you guys when Hillary gets back. Hey, Dad. Food. Hey. Can we open this giant box? Ah. So much good stuff. Ooh. Well, I'm going to use this. Hey, hey, hey. No, don't, don't take it all out. Can we have one? Uh, you can definitely have a sticker. Here you oh, go. Oh, sticker. Yay. For my water bottle. Those of you guys that won the auctions, got shipping supplies now. And weather should be good next oh. week, hopefully. We'll, we'll check the system and... They'll be coming out. I changed the plans. I got a little discombobulated with trying to get my camera lens sent in to get fixed because I wanted to get it done as soon as possible because this sucks having to adjust this. Hillary hasn't had a chance to go get the food yet, but Noah's gonna show us. Tell us, tell us, Noah, what's happening here? Where is it? He's right there. Oh, you can see him? Yeah, barely. He's not moving. I don't think he's going to unless I shove him out with something. He's going to sting me, Dad. No, he's not. What? Now you're just really just going to cook. Now if he backs up, he'll crawl onto it. Wow, okay. Noah. He is a... I don't know exactly how you say it. Had I know you say the second part, but I don't know how you say the first part. Like Hadrosaurus Rex? No. Hadrosaurus, like Hadrosaurus Obscurus. I know the second part's Obscurus. What's the common name? Giant Desert Hairy Scorpion. Well, I don't want him to sting me because I'm going to be swinging with a bat, so. Painful position. <laughs> Painful. Yeah, so like a Hadrus Obscurus. That's the specific, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Type of his species. The most common place to find a giant desert hairy scorpion is in Arizona. This specific type likes to burrow or hide under rocks. They don't need water, they get all their water from their food. They can go uh, four to seven days without food. Their sting can hurt for a few hours. It hurts about as bad as wasps, a little bit worse. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's something crawling up along the back of my hand. Yeah, probably. 